welcome back to my YouTube channel, It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you. Um, I was having a look through my bit box of uh, Julia's to go with the lovely stamps that she's just released. Um, so these are them, Textured World, um, Wanda, House of Whimsy and Floral Skies. Um, and I only have a few little bits left within my stash. And I was thinking, what could I do? Um, well, anyway... Um, when I've, I've literally just sorted them out to see what I had, I've got this piece of MDF in my stash that was actually given to me of my um, brother-in-law. And you know what I thought? How cool would it be to make a welcome sign but have it as a medal? How would that, how cool would that be? So that is what I'm going to do. First of all, I want to cut this out so that it is, um, we don't have the blue sky um, around it. Um, and I'm doing a terrible job at cutting it out, but never mind, most of it probably will be covered. Um, actually, but if, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop doing that because what we first need to do is we need to get some gesso onto this. So I have my white gesso and I have a paintbrush and we are just gonna coat this in white gesso. Um, and then what we'll probably do um, is, I'm not gonna do too much as in mixed media wise with this set. Um, but what I'm thinking is what we could do is actually just come in with our inks, so our distress inks. Do the bottom green, um, maybe in like the peeled, but actually not, probably pe lucky, lucky Clover. Um, and then Peacock Feathers are for the sky, so it's really, really bright. And then we have on the background, um, we like, yeah, do that on the background and then build it up with what we've got left. So it'll be sort of like a meadow. And then I'm gonna go in my stash, I'm gonna have a look at, see what um, letter dies that I have. So that, or um, I might even draw some out of card or um, wood chip, not wood chip. Where did I even get wood chip from? Um, Grey pod. So I might even do my own letters and we cut them out and have them and we'll paint them like really, really bright, funky, uh, funky colours. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to paint the back as well um, just because it looks ugly. So we may as well have it sort of neatish. Don't forget, guys, do not neglect your sides. Um, I think I say it now in every video, the amount of times I've done a project and I haven't done my sides. And you know what? It makes a huge, huge difference. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I don't think you need to see me um, paint all of this white. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to paint this white. I'm going to find some grey board because I'm sure I've got some in my stash somewhere. And then I'll come back and we'll we'll do the welcome. Because um, I'm thinking having welcome in the middle. We'll have the house at one end. And then we make a medal using all of the flowers. And then that can be like a little welcome sign. Like welcome home sign, can't it? Or welcome to my home. Um, so yeah, something a little bit different really. So, right, okay, I'm going to finish this. I will do give it another coat because I want it to be really, really bright white. Um, so I'll give this another coat, I'll go and find some grey board and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, that is done. I have blasted it with my heat tool so um, I can move it. So I'm just going to move that off to the side just so it can dry just a little bit more. Now I have some grey board here. This is actually off a Lux paper pack. So when I did my, um, how many cards using this in my Christmas collection, um, I did say keep it because you can use it for other things. And that is exactly what we're gonna do today. So I'll use a black pen. Now I am the world, I am so bad at drawing. It is ridiculous, but you know what? We're gonna give it a go. Right, I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to do a line. I'm sure I need to get a new one of these, you know. Um, actually, I'm going to do two lines. One at the top and one at the bottom. So, yeah. Okay, so I think that would be um, a big enough. And then I'm going to just write in 
welcome. Now I am going to change these edges and make them rounded like so. But by doing the lines it just helps me. Now this is going to be painted so I'm not worried at all. Now let's make sure and like I said, I'm doing this, normally I would do this in pencil, but I would like you guys to see what I am doing. So that's why I've sort of come ahead and done it in, in pen. Oh, that's terrible. Um, I'm just hoping I spell it right. I am going to have to do another, another row. Although I think we might be able to fit it on. So, um, like so, oh that's terrible, that's a terrible C, so let's come, we need it to be, that's a bit better, like I said it is going to be painted so that is completely fine, um, that I, welcome is one L isn't it, I'm sure it's one L. Um, anyway, so, and down, and across, yeah, I'm liking that, so like I said, I am not the best at this guys, but because I have a grid, it really is helping a lot, that needs to be further out. Um, it really is helping with my letter placements. So I am pleased with that and I think that's just about the right size. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this out. So let me just... And the, um, the lines that we have created have actually helped us to keep our letters the right size now all I'm going to do is on all of those points um, right now I'm going to cut them out so make sure I go along the lines and then what I'm going to do where all those uh, little points are is we will round them um, yeah because I just think it might look better although it doesn't seem to be too bad so because even though I haven't drawn a straight line um, my scissors are cutting a straight line so actually I'm gonna have that as a point instead oh I think that actually looks okay so there's that so you, I mean I was going to use dies and stuff but you know there's not everybody has a die machine um, and not everybody has larger letters so um, I think sometimes it's nice to be shown that actually you don't need all these this fancy equipment at all to uh, to create um, to create something beautiful so and then cut that <clears throat> and then we're going to cut that and I mean this is just hand drawn letters and they've actually turned out to be quite nice a lot nicer than I thought they were going to be so again using those as guides and like I said this isn't going to be perfect um, but I mean it's hand drawn and yeah it just gives you an idea of I like that it gives you an idea of how um, right so this bit here is for me too large so let's see if we can go around and make this look a little bit better S too small sorry not large so I want that to come out a little bit more like so and then do the same with this one it's all about trying to keep them all the letters the same size so take your time over it I'll, I'll do it that way so you can see because 
and you've got all the lines distracting you so that's a much much better see um, so really pleased with that and then let's go on to our O I'm just going to go, so I think for the centre of this one I'm going to use my, my cutting tool. I need to find it like, it is somewhere. Um, my cutting tool, does that even make sense guys? My, um, my craft knife. Wow, I think I need to go back to bed and then get up again. Because that was terrible, my cutting tool. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, right, I'm going to do the same. I have that as flat, but I don't actually like it as flat, so we're going to have it as a point instead. And then have that point match at the top. Perfect, right. Now, that's just a little bit too wide at the top. Yep, loving that. And then we're going to do the E. And I can safely say, once this is done, our letters are done. Um, I am going to stick these straight onto my um, piece because I'd like them to dry. So um, we'll stick them straight down and I'll put the first coat of gesso on them as well. Okay. Right. So let's get rid of these little bits actually. Right, this is going to be really bad. But let's keep these longer bits because I can use these as dimension underneath our flowers. So, yeah. Reuse where you can, guys. Trust me, it makes the world of difference. And it saves a lot of money. Right, okay. So let's bring in my plaque. And because it is just cardboard, I am just going to come in with my Nouveau glue for this. Um, so let's stick this down. I, I am going to put lots of glue on because I really want this to stick nicely. So, actually, do you know what I should have done? Put the letters on. Um, so, well, oh, there it is. I was thinking, have I lost one? But I do need to take that hole out. So that is something we need to do. Let me just roughly cut into this side just so that I know where this where our letters do actually need to be because that's I want to be sat about there so that needs to be about there. Okay, so that gives us an idea of where we need our letters to be so as long as I stay uh, the letters are there we can work with that do you know I think this is gonna look so cool and I think I might have to <laughs> ask Julia for it back to go so that I can pop it in my hallway because this is gonna look absolutely gorgeous but how nice is do you know what this would actually make a perfect perfect gift it really really would Okay, so there's that. Right, I need to grab my craft knife. So, let's grab my, my little toolbox. So, I'm going to use this one, because this one goes around. Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to, just because of the fact that um, I haven't got anything to sort it on. Have a look. But this one goes around corners. Now, it is super tricky to use. And you've really got to push down on it. But I find it quite easy to do. So for me personally, it's fabulous. And it's better than using my other one. Now, I can't get it all the way through because you have to have strength. Um, however, I don't. But I have left a little groove. I got halfway through it. And yeah, as long as I go around where I've put that little groove. Who decided to do an all? Honestly. Stay in the groove, woman. I went out of there. Ow! 
I've just stabbed myself with my scissors. Right, do as I say, not as I do. I thought I'd cut myself then, but I haven't. I do love that too. But I haven't got the strength to go, I mean, this is one mil thick. I've got the strength to go through maybe up to half a, a centimetre. I definitely, definitely don't have the strength to go through. Right, oh, I started going, I'm thinking, why aren't these glued down? And then I realised, yeah, I definitely don't have the strength to go through all of it but I've used that um, tool a few times now and I have to say I am well impressed well impressed so as long as you've got um, you know you need to really push down for it to cut and if you can use like um, a mat that's got a sticky layer on that helps a lot I think I've got a review somewhere on my channel but yeah I bought it very cheaply <laughs> off, um, off eBay oh my word how gorgeous is this oh this is gonna look amazing okay I'm saying that do you know I sound like I've got a big head but you just know it's gonna look gorgeous right okay so let's put our first coat of gesso on so just going over the top um, and like I said I'm gonna do probably because we've got those black lines those black lines are probably going to seep through um but normally i would highly suggest you use pencil guys um but i really wanted you to see the whole process um so that's why i used um a pen so you could see how i did it but yeah um i learned it from school actually i always remember in school when you were taught to to write you had three lines um, and you know, I never, you don't realise, do you, how much you actually take from school and how much you actually, um, yeah, you still use some of the stuff that, you, that you've learnt from school. So yeah, there you go. Right, okay, just trying to, so how awesome is that going to look? Right, leave that to dry okay so let's move that over there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in and we're going to cut this out now i am actually going to just get rid of those um ladders i'm afraid um however i'm thinking i might get the stamp out and stamp it on so where uh, there's a will there's a way oh we could draw them on so yeah we shall see okay um so this one i did and i colored the whole background blue um so i actually managed to finish it um and i'm really really glad that i colored that background blue because i think it's going to help um blend it into our plaque okay so just like so Right, we're nearly there guys, nearly there. Um, I'm not going to have that heart on either. And this is the really good thing about Julia stamps is you can, if you don't want the swirly whirly bits, cut, um, cut them off. You don't have to have them. Um, she makes it so that if you don't want any swirly whirly bits, you don't have to have them. Just cut them off and you can't tell. I absolutely love working with them so come on we're nearly there nearly nearly there i'm wondering whether or not we want to add some glitter oh who doesn't love a bit of glitter i'm thinking would that be too much or even just my sparkle pen that may be nice all right oh do you know what i'm going to cut that heart off because i've just ripped it but and then I'm going to cut those two hearts off as well. Because, like I said, we can quite easily just chop them off. Okay. Right, so that's that cut out. So let's get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to bring back this. Let's move them. And put another coat of gesso on. Well, like so 
Uh, I, do you know what? I think I might come in with my watercolours. I was thinking inks, but mm, I think I'm going to bring in my gouache. Now, that black pen is just going to continuously seep through, so I need to work out what I'm going to do. It might be that I need to put some sort of seal over the top, you know, just like a, a thin coat of um, PVA glue or something. Actually, we'll do that now while I'm thinking on. I do have, and I did take it out of my bag and I'm looking and I can't see it. I did have some really cheap PVA glue like and when I say cheap I mean really cheap and it was rubbish there it is so this um it's oh, it's like snot but I was using it for um collage the other day um at my friend's house um can't wait to share that project with you guys so Right, oh come on, off you come. You can tell we were using it. We were sort of having, yeah, a play. But look at that, look at how gloopy that is. Ah, so if you have something where um, you've, you've done it with ink and it's gonna seep through, um, PVA is your best friend. So some, just, just some cheap glue. Um, and that will seal that ink in. Um, do you know what? Let's just paint the whole thing because I'm going to be going over it again with some white gesso. So just spread that glue out so we, it's nice and even. Oh, that's just like snot. Snot, snot, snot. Oh dear, I think I've gone mad. Well, I went mad years ago. That's fine. Do you know what, guys? It's really early in the morning. So <laughs> I say really early. It's not that early. It's like... What, what time are we actually on? Oh, we're only on ten past nine. It's up that early. I was up at seven, so, yeah. Oh, I had a weird, weird dream last night. So, I dreamt that Don and Julia, <laughs> that, we had, that I had to do with Don and Julia creates in a zombie apocalypse. And we had to use, <laughs> Julia's was amazing, it turned out fabulous. So we had to use um, something that we've got from um, a second hand shop. Julia had used a vase, some PVA heat set vinyl. So when you, like, you know what you use on cars to cover, cover cars? We had to use that. <laughs> oh my goodness me, oh wait, Jesso. I might set that a challenge actually for Julia. I think she'd love it. Um, which is white gesso and um, we were allowed our inks, that was it. And the whole time that we were doing this, we are being chased by zombies and we, we were sat in the range doing it. So, um, and Julia came up and showed me her vase and her vase looked absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe she had achieved this like amazing vase using this vinyl and her inks and things. And then, I was sort of running around like a headless chicken trying to find something really nice because I wanted to copy off her so I wanted to find a vase but I couldn't and in the meantime I'm getting chased by zombies and then if that's not work, like bad enough I have a huge fear, fear of slugs I'm blaming the cheese I had cheese last night for my tea I had a lasagna and there was cheese on it so I'm blaming that um yeah I have a huge <laughs> I have a huge fear of slugs. <laughs> and when I was washing my brushes out, there were slugs in the sink. But I couldn't leave my brushes because my brushes needed to be washed. And anyway, um, I don't know what happened next because my alarm woke me up, thank goodness. But yeah, so well done, Julia. You, <laughs> you won that one. Oh, wow. Why have you guys had any really like funky dreams? Let me know. What's what's like the most weirdest crafty dream that you've ever had? Let me know it in the uh, comment section. I'd love to hear it. But yeah, such a strange dream. But well done, Julia. So Ju Julia won. <laughs> she actually produced them. All I was bothered about. I was washing my brushes and trying to find a vase to, to copy her creation. There you go. Oh, wow. Hey, goodness me. I was telling my husband, he just looked at me as if to say, you're just a nutter. You're mental, Don. Really? Like, yeah. It's like, I know. I know. Right. <laughs> I'm going to stop.
<laughs> I'm gonna stop boring you guys right now um so I think by the time I come back hopefully I'm gonna have another cup of coffee I've had a lovely cup of coffee so I I ground I grind my own um coffee beans on a morning I know it sounds really posh but it really isn't um I always have well I've got Starbucks coffee beans at the minute but I've just bought myself some Costa ones um so yeah um I think I'll be starting Costa, not tomorrow, the day after. I love Costa coffee. I think most of us do, but I love Starbucks. Starbucks is, it's not something that, like, we don't have any where I live, but there is some up in Newcastle, and I always prefer to go there. But I, ju I just love coffee in general. So, yeah, I think I'll stop borrowing you. I think I'm going to go and have another coffee. <laughs> But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading what your most weird crafty dream was. That's going to be, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, so, anyway, right, okay, let's get this dry. Once it's dry, I won't bore you again. I'm going to, so once I've dry, this is fully dry, I'm going to come on with some white gesso, go over the top again, because, um, like I said, you can still see where I've drawn the letters. Um, so... Um, once, so once I put another coat on, that should cover it. Um, and if it doesn't, then we'll just go over with something. Um, but it, it should cover it. So a nice coat of PVA glue. It's like sealing it in, really, isn't it? So, okay. So I will be back at once. I've got the second, uh, another coat of um, white gesso on, and hopefully we'll be, we'll be on to start decorating. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so it is all dry now. It didn't quite work how I wanted it to. I think I was just thinking of plaster, but it has given me, can you see that? It's given me a crackled effect. So from now on, I think for a crackled effect, I'm gonna start using my PVA glue. Cause how cool does that look? That texture is amazing. Right, okay, so what we're gonna do, so I actually left it overnight. Um, is I've got my gouache out and I'm going to use the blues and the greens um, because I want this to be like a type of meadow so what I'm going to do is um, I've just realised we need some water do I have my I'm always looking for stuff aren't I so I'm just going to um, activate these so I'm going to do that well I don't know which blues to do actually um, and greens, I think these two or three, yeah. So I'm just activating them. I need to get a brush. So I've grabbed a couple of brushes and I need a little pot with water in. So we'll just use that little pot. Okay, so i just pour some water in that and then we are good to go. So let's start off by spraying our piece so i'm just gonna lightly mix this with water okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to come in i'm going to just start lightly tapping on our colors and right now i'm just wanting to get um color onto this so i'm not looking for anything else um i'm literally just looking for uh, for color um you could do this with sprays um you could do this with your distress inks um yeah there's there's lots of other ways that you could do this um just have a look see what that color's like i know this bit's going to be covered okay so i think that's coming with some green i'm going to come in with this lightest shade and that's just going to go on the bottom and then what we're going to do is just build our colour up from, from there. So, as you can see, because I want it to be nice and bright against the flowers. Because this is, this is essentially going to be like um, a meadow. So, that's my, that's my plan anyway. Right, I'm just putting, making sure, don't neglect your sides guys. Um, so, I'm making sure to put some of that colour on the side. Um, so on the other side as well, just so it goes up. So if I do miss it, at least it's got some colour onto it. I mean that is looking, looking lovely. So I'm liking that. Right. So now what I'm going to do is come in with some different shades and just add some different shades into this. 
preferably around the letters. Now, um, the letters are going to be painted a different colour, um, so I'm not too worried about getting um, any sort of colour onto them right now because, like I said, they're going to be painted a different colour. I love this blue. It's a lovely sort of darkish colour. I like the way that the, the clouds have gone actually because um, we've got some of those white areas that look like yeah that look like clouds so coming in with another shade just to darken up that edge. Now I do want to make sure that we paint this edge so um, let's just get that colour on because then at least we know that we have we have painted it okay and again down the sides um, so that when you're looking at your piece from the side it all looks lovely oh I'm liking that um, drip effect so that might be something to to keep in so I'll just add in some drips on why not so I'll just go that way oh, I love that I absolutely love it I'm loving how it's looking right I'm going to come in with a darker green and do the same so just actually I want a bit darker than that so just around where the letters are really um, and it is just dabbing on colour. I'm not doing anything special here, guys. Um, you really don't need to do anything special with this at all. I'm just looking at getting colour onto my piece. Um, this essentially is going to be our backdrop. So, yeah. Um, oh, I love, I love, I love how vibrant that is. Okay, so... I'm actually thinking that if I keep going, I'm going to end up ruining it. So let us dry it. So I'm going to quickly dry it off camera because I don't think you want to hear this um, go. And yeah, I'll be back when it's dry. So that's all dry. And that looks absolutely gorgeous. That effect is just so beautiful. Now I'm going to come in. So let me just wash my brush out. Um, and I'm wanting to paint these flowers. Now I'm actually going to come in with a really, really bright pink. And I want lots of pigment on my brush. So I'm really working that in. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually paint the letters. Um with this pink now, I'm not sure how well they're going to go because we have got other colours on but we will see what happens because uh, I couldn't decide whether or not to do it with my um, gouache paints or whether just to come in with an acrylic paint and do it um, but I think if I come in with an acrylic paint we'd lose all of that gorgeous texture and it's one of the one things that I'm loving about this project is the texture so um, I think we're going to keep it and just accept it if we get mud, which by the looks of it we're going to. So, um, but yeah, I mean we'll get a nice purple at the top of there. I'm just brushing it along the edge, but I think it's just going to give it a different. So, I'm just mixing all the colours together really. So, making sure that we have lots and lots of pigment on our brush um, and we're just going to work that in I mean that just looks gorgeous and then once this is fully dry completely so I'm going to leave it probably a few hours just so that I know it's fully dry um, I'm then going to come back and we'll start sticking all of our floral elements on we'll stick on the house um, so yeah we'll have it and we'll really, really finish it off um, using using those bits. But I just wanted a nice, bright colour just to show up that welcome sign. And I think that, um, yeah, this is definitely done. I mean, how gorgeous is that looking, guys? And that texture as well that we've created is just fabulous. So, yeah, loving it. Right, come on. This is actually running out. I need to top it up um, with my gouache. So I have to get my gouache up and top out the ones that have nearly gone. 
so they have lasted me I have to admit I made this palette over a year ago so um it's lasted me a long time without without having to refill um so really pleased about that okay last letter um oh, I love it so just like this right really liking that so, and you wouldn't think that those were just out of packaging, would you? I mean, that just looks amazing. Honestly, packaging is your best friend when it comes to um, mixed media. The amount of things, even card making, the amount of things that you can do with it is just absolutely fantastic. So, just making sure I've got a bit more pigment on places. Like so, okay. I just want this end piece to be a little bit darker, like the rest. There we go, that's better. Um, and then I think we can safely say that we are done with this bit. So, like I said, I'm going to leave this a few hours now to dry. Um, so that it's definitely definitely dry and we don't have anything come apart and then i'm going to come back um and i think once i come back we will pop on yeah we'll pop on everything else i really like that i'm just wondering whether or not to add sort of any splashes in because now would be the time to sort of do it so I'm just getting my white because I don't know whether to add splashes in or just to add some clouds. I mean, these are going to be pink clouds, like, because my brush has still got pink in, of course. I always do that. I can never get a proper white. I always end up with different colours. But you know what? Who said you couldn't have pink clouds? So, nobody said you couldn't. I'm just going to bring that in. Just like so. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. I really like that. So yeah, I'm quite glad I brought that pink in. Like I said, you don't know until you try. Although I could have quite easily spoiled that, but I haven't, so I'm happy. Right, okay, so I will be back once this is fully dry and we'll add on to the um the finishing touches so i'll be back in a second okay, so that is all dry and we are ready to start assembling everything together so i've put my house just on the edge um and i was thinking of cutting it down i think when i very first thought about this but actually i'm not going to now i'm going to leave it because it looks nice just protruding over that edge now I'm just going to use my normal Nouveau glue for this um, just because it is paper and it will stick perfectly well. So I know that we will be good to go. Now I'm really glad I had those pink, um, that pink in. I think that just works lovely. So there's our home. Um, now I do have some pink clouds so I think we should definitely take advantage of of those and then maybe um oh i don't know i don't know right let's get the flowers so we've got lots of different flowers um so i don't want to cover up the letters too much so it might be that i don't use so we have that one there and that there um maybe that one there okay Loving the clouds, I'm gonna have that one there, and definitely want the cat. Where can the cat go? Oh, that's that's a thought, <coughs> right? Have no idea, no idea at all, right? Because I want this, I want it all to sort of be seen. Right, if I have that like that, now these are gonna come off these flowers. Um, although it's only going to come off one of them and then we've got these ones so 
Um, and again, do you know, I don't know how this is. I think I could have done with it being a little bit bigger. However, I'm liking it. I am liking it. Right, I like that there. Um, and maybe the butterfly there. And then we've got these. I think we need the smaller of the flowers. So we're just going to add all the little flowers. So any little flower that I have and any of the leaves that we have, we're going to add them on. Um, okay, and the butterfly, actually I don't think I've got many, I really don't have much left at all. Um, so yeah, it is just a matter of seeing what I have left and what we can, what we can sort of draw together. And yeah, to make it look really nice. Um, Oh, actually, do you know what? That's coming together really, really nicely, isn't it? Um, I want those little flowers that Julia's daughter designed because they're just fab. So we definitely want some of them in. And I think I definitely want to have some white in. So, um, actually, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, no. Maybe not any of the white ones. Ooh, there's a nice pink. And then, yeah, I'm quite liking that. And then I think we'll come in with the leaves. So what I'm thinking is, and then in the centre, I've got all these little hearts and stuff. Um, so I'm going to stick them in the centre of the flowers that I haven't finished colouring in. So... I think that's what it's going to end up looking like. So let's get this all glued down. Because um, I think once it's all glued down, we can then work out what we're going to do. Um, yeah, where we're going to go with it next. So, um, let's pop that on. And I think blue, no actually the red can go on that one um, I'm going to pop some dimension onto this one just because I think I'd like to have it raised up ok just yeah I like that and then pop on this green leaf nice and we're going to pop on that just underneath there um, I am thinking another green leaf just under here there we go right loving that corner let's add our our cloud okay so I am going to cut that bit off okay so that's that bit done yeah, I'm going to have that up there. Again, let's have it so that it is raised. Okay. So I'm sort of changing it slightly to where it was going to go. And then pop that just underneath there. Um, I'm, I'm looking at it so that um, you can sort of still see... Um, you know the the letters but so that it looks very much like a medal and then again I'm going to put these little circles in the centre I just think they look fab maybe yeah this one there and again let's get one of these and we're just gonna glue that on as well nice I'm loving this okay let's move that a second so with this one put some glue on this is going to go in between those letters like I said we are going to trim these a few bits off so um, not to worry about that and then that's going to come over there and actually I want that one just on there like that yep uh, just where that ripped 
so just because an image rips doesn't mean we can't use it you just find you find a way in which to use it okay loving this absolutely loving it um, do we have any more please say we do because they look really cool with these and I'm trying to make sure as well that all my hearts are all the same the same way up as well so as for the flowers I'm not going to trim them back I'll leave them hanging over the edge I think um, although it might be a little little difficult to stand up there we go right and then this one so just pop some glue on and this one's just going to come in like that yeah love that really really loving that and pop a leaf on okay so uh, do I want another one yeah Let's pop a leaf in there and then we're going to have this butterfly that's just going to sit there so they're sort of mimicking each other so that can go there and then again let's stick this little heart in the center of that flower and then actually yeah I'm going to have that just there Okay, loving, absolutely loving that. Right, I'm just going to grab my scissors because I just want to trim the, all of these bits back um, so that we can sort of see what we are doing. Um, sometimes it's the best way. Oh, how awesome is this looking? Um, I can move them just to the side. My bin's shut. Okay, do you have... Yeah definitely want that one on so that can go in there now do I want to add anything else to this piece or have we finished that is the question um, wondering if we did okay we added in yeah some of those I'm breaking this down so it looks like little little green brushes okay and then oh don't move right so there's that one and then I think yeah it's got an upside down heart but that's fine I do like how it is looking and then what I could do is actually bring the, this in, yeah. So I'm just going to bring this in over the top of that upside down, of, yeah, that upside down heart, just like that. Right, okay, I think, I want to say, oh, I want the clouds on. I really want the clouds on. Um... Do you know what? I might just stick one on and just have it there. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm just going to do it because I really, really want one on. Oh, lady snoring right behind me. Oh, as she normally does. And then I've got some little hearts as well. So, um, yeah. No. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Right. I think I'm going to leave it as is. Because I am really, really loving that. And I think it's turned out beautifully. How awesome is that? So, that's it for today, guys. Um, the only thing I'm thinking, do we want to add anything, any black in? Um... I'm just wondering if to add any black or law. Um, I do have my gilding waxes. Okay, let me just I'm wondering whether to add a little bit of that in. Okay, 
days. So this is the bronze coloured one. Well, it's antique gold, but I would say it's more bronze. I'm just going to put a bit on my brush. I don't know how well this will go on, but no, not very well because my brush is still wet. Yeah, I'm just wondering. So, I mean, I can always paint over it if I need to. But I don't know, there's something just, I think, that might be magical about it. Just adding that little bit of shine. I'm not going to do it to all of the, like, like all over the letters. Because um, I still want some of that pink to be sh like to show, but yeah, oh, I think that just really mi like makes it pop even more, doesn't it? So okay, I'm having to be careful because obviously I don't want to hit anything else that's on on this piece. I just want to do those letters so. A lot. Really like that actually. Yeah, I think that is what it just needed. And then, do I want to add a border on? I don't think so. I think I want to leave it as it is. So, there you go. That is my piece done, all finished using the new stamp collection from our lovely Julia. Do you know, I've had so much fun putting this together. How gorgeous would that be in a hallway? I really like it. I hope you like it too. Um, thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I'll also leave all the uh, information that you need in the description box of where you can buy these stamps if you would like to purchase them. But um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy crafting. Bye.